This is the TrendToReport.com with Jane Lynch. Jane Lynch, you have a host of awards under your belt from an Emmy to People's Choice. Mm -hmm. Today you're in Chicago being honored by the Chicago Film Critic Association. How does it feel to be honored by your hometown? Oh, it's amazing. You know, I, I, I'm, I'm a Chicagoan um, and I have lived in L.A. for over 20 years, but I still say, they say, where are you from? I say Chicago. Um, and... Uh, you know, I, I, the first movie I did was here, vice versa, and then I did The Fugitive. So, I know all of these critics. <laughs> I know this. I, I, I know. I know this. I remember Siskel and Ebert. You know, I used to watch it um, uh, back in the day, and um, I went to high school with Richard Roper. So I've, I, I have, you know, connections here. So it means a lot to me. Um, I'm, I'm deeply honored and deeply humbled to be back home. Next week, we'll see you in Escape from Planet Earth. Yes, you will. Where you play Lo, who's a giant cyclops. Nope, I play Eo. Eo. Someone said Lo. It's another, another character's yes. named Lo. Okay. okay. So they, that was probably in some press release, so it's not your fault. Thank you. Well, I play Io, yes, and I have one eye. Um, I'm an alien um, and uh, about oh, probably eight or nine feet tall. Um, and uh, with lobster skin, and we're helping uh, Brendan Fraser and Rob Corddry's characters get back to their their home planet, and uh, we're basically stuck in Area 51, and it's a lot of fun. It's It sounds very serious, doesn't it? But it's an animated film, and it's a lot of fun. It's for the Weinstein Company. And it's also a lot of fun seeing you on Glee every week. Thank you. <laughs> Let me know, um, is there anything that we can expect this season? Yeah, let's see. We've got all these new kids, mm -hmm. um, and they're doing great, and we also are following uh, Rachel and Kurt, and now Santana in New York, and that's a lot of fun to see them as young professionals trying to make it as artists in New York, and that's such a fun thing to watch um, and uh, so the show has changed and evolved but it's really and I love that it's allowed to change and evolve we're not sticking with the same thing over and over again we're telling different stories you know with the same characters as, as they grow up and uh, this week I'm doing uh, um, it, and it probably won't play for a few weeks but I'll give you a little um, uh, teaser here uh, Blaine played by Darren Chris and I are gonna have a sing-off uh, we're having a feud, um, and uh, so that's going to be a lot of fun. Let's just say Nicki Minaj and Mariah Carey inspired. <laughs> the show also tackles a lot of diverse issues. Mm -hmm. um, with the show, you've been a champ. You've become a role model for gay women, mm -hmm. also a champion for gay rights. Mm -hmm. What do you think about how the country is progressing? Oh, I think it's you know just great. I think we've come so far in terms of how we've view uh, gay people in this country uh, and I think it's because we're now we're put attaching faces and people to the notion of being gay and um, when you're talking to a really nice person and you find out they're gay you don't run away you kind of go oh so I think there's a lot of uh, softening going on about that and of course I couldn't be happier and I think it's going to make especially the kids out there who are uh, grappling with this and having a hard time with their own orientation um, it gives them hope that it does get better do you own any sweatsuits in your personal closet? I do not own any sweatsuits or tracksuits. The only place in L.A. you see people in matching tracksuits is um, uh, Russian immigrants uh, who are walking up uh, uh, the hills like Runyon Canyon and wearing street shoes and, and gold medallions. <laughs> Anything yeah. else you want to say that I didn't ask? No, you? I'm good. Thank you so much. You this bet. is Jane Lynch with the trendreport.com.